Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to talk about lesson number 78 of Friday with you speak English well. Okay, can I start? This is Super English Show and I'm Quy. Welcome all of you to the video Friday with you speak English well. Rule number one, really nice. Really nice is the first rule in learning English. Normally, your language cannot be free and fluent when you feel stressful and tired. You also cannot take the language into your head when you do not feel really nice. Language is a tool of communicating, tool to show your mind and your thought. You cannot learn English, you cannot speak English if your head is stuck in. To practice this rule before learning, before practicing English, you breathe in three times deeply and talk with yourself. Speaking English is very easy. Follow me please, deep breath in, breath out. Speaking English is very easy and I will speak English every day. Rule number two, memorizing. Normally, almost English learners think that they must memorize a lot of vocabulary, grammar rules to speak English well. So, they're scared and not confident because they think their ability of memorizing is bad. No, that is not truth. The truth is that English will be the tool to help you improve your memory ability. Don't try to memorize vocabulary and grammar in traditional way. What you need to do is to memorize as many English sentences as possible. The more English sentences you have, the better, you, the better your English level will be. Uh, conquering English sentences not only helps you speak English immediately, but also improves, but also helps you learn vocabulary and grammar automatically. Don't study vocabulary and grammar separately. You should memorize as many sentences as possible to use immediately. Memorizing English sentences also help you to be confident to talk with foreigners. Sure, I'm sure. The question is, how to memorize English sentences? The Super English Method has special techniques such as repeating, shocking body language to help you take English sentences, English paragraphs into your unconscious mind and use them anytime. In my next videos, I will share with you this thing is in special super English lessons. Remember, studying English in the right way will help you fast improve your memory. The more English sentences you memorize, the better your English will be. Rule number three, reciting. Uh, you must remember this rule clearly and deeply. English will never be yours if you cannot recite words, sentences or paragraphs by yourself. When you can recite a long English paragraph, I'm sure that you speak English completely. Imagine you were in the Hoan Kim Lake and going to Han Tai. You can tell foreigners the tale of Hoan Kim Lake. Your English is good or not, and how many English words and English grammar you have through the tale. A lot and a lot. Success in learning English, in learning and speaking English is decided by this rule. Almost English learners do not study deeply so they cannot memorize and reciting, recite anything. That's why they never dare to speak English. There's a truth, a simple principle that we just feel confident. We just dare to do things. We just dare to do things that things that we did before. We just do something confident if we did it before and of course you only can speak English fluently if you speak the sentence and words before. So, you should practice reciting short and long English paragraphs uh, of Super English. You will see the miracle happens. Super English paragraphs are very easy to learn and they can help you burst out is English easily. Uh, rule number four, the 3 d rule. 3 d means speak English as loudly, clearly and quickly as possible. When practice, make sure that you speak loudly because you could, uh, because because it is the only way to know you speak right or wrong. Besides, loud speaking also improves your listening ability. Raise up your confidence. Your confidence develops your memorizing. Then you never and never forget. Speak English as clearly as possible helps you pronounce each word, each sentence correctly. Produce the most confident feeling. The more important that speak English clearly helps you to build uh, your standard international mouth muscle. This is the main factor that you speak English correctly. Speak English as quickly as possible helps you a lot. 
the more quickly you speak, the better you can memorize English and never forget. The more quickly you speak, the faster your advanced pronunciation will build. And the more you speak, the better your language feeling will be. These are because you see, the first international speaking of foreigner is not your problem anymore. You listen is not your problem anymore. You listen English much more easier and react English English much better. Note the technique. Uh, speak English as quickly as possible. Only practice after you practice technique. Uh, speak English as loudly and clearly as possible. Don't be hard to try to speak English as quickly as possible because you could not do it well before building and building your international mouth muscle. Rule number five: Be stubborn. Be stubborn here means stubborn. Stubborn like stone. This means no fear of wrong English. No fear to making mistakes. My friend, humans get more errors when making mistakes. You just speak English well after making a lot and a lot of mistakes. Never care about how poorly or how well you speak. Only care about catching the chance to speak. Never care about what other people think. Only care about making progress. My friend, enjoy losing face, enjoy making mistakes, and enjoy being laughed. All the best English speaker used to be losing face, you to speak English poorly. So, what will you choose? One, bad at English forever, or two, speaking poor English, making mistakes, being laughed, then improve. What will you choose? Start learning English from now on immediately. You will see English well. You will see speak. You will speak English well. Okay, la. That's all about my lesson. See you in my next video. Bye bye.